today we're again talking about some of the big themes going on at InnoTribe this year, and uh, today's big theme is social data and collaboration. So we're going to be talking with James Gardner of Spigot. Um, now, I mean, social social data and collaboration is one of the big themes, and a, a lot of mainstream talk about social media it focuses on what I call, you know, the consumer products like Twitter and Facebook. But, I mean, how is, in your view, what is the real impact of the, the socialization of communication? What does that impact really had on the banking industry in terms of marketing and customer service? What I think is so interesting about this trend to social data and social collaboration is not where we are right now with it, I think, but where we're going. And if you think about this collaboration trend that started in enterprises, particularly banks a few years ago, it's now being augmented by the social thing. And I see that that's going to take us somewhere new, pretty much. And the new place is when you have social and collaboration, what you have is a crowd. And crowds are interesting things. They have hands as well as eyes and ears. They can do things. And so I think the big impact is going to be able to be, is going to be using crowds to do things in banks, which haven't really been happening to this point. It's about decentralizing away from command and control and dealing with things on a very large scale. This is new, I think, for banks. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of conversation about social media, I mean, you know, Tribe is saying that it's moved on, you know, talking about social data. And, you know, whenever you discuss social communication, especially in the banking industry, the conversation turns back to, can you prove ROI? So, I mean, I mean, what are some of the major benefits of wrangling this social data for the financial industry? So this ROI question is always one that comes up. It comes up in so many of the new areas banks are going to. I mean, running an innovation function in a bank, the first question is the ROI question. I think it isn't helpful at this stage to be seeking ROI. I think banks need to be thinking about what the possibilities are and experimenting and learning and coming to ROI in due course. So, I mean, so maybe like, I know a lot of people get very pedantic about the meaning of ROI. So, I mean, but what are, what are some of the benefits of sort of manipulating this social data? What are some of the benefits that can be seen for this industry? Well, I think certainly you can see who talks to whom. I think you can see who influences whom. I think you can see what causes people to actually go out and do things. And in the end, it's the getting people to do things, which is the important thing. And that's what I meant earlier when I talked about crowds. Crowds are groups of people who do things. And the social data, the analytical data we get from crowds, tells us what is likely to happen. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of conversations about social media. It seems kind of strange, but it, people tend to talk about the same things over and over again. So since social data and collaboration is one of the big themes of InnoTribe, you know, what, what new, what, what are we going to hear that's new this year at Cybus? I think there's going to be a lot of focus not on the talking aspect of social, which is, as you say, what everyone talks about. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, focus on the doing aspect of social. Crowds, as I say, are powerful instruments, and social gives us crowds. Crowds have eyes and ears and mouths, so they can talk and see, but they also have hands. And it's going to giving crowds hands that I think is going to be the new thing.